Hey, how's everybody doing today? I hope you guys are having a good Monday. Um, I was just coming to give you guys an update uh, on the truck. I didn't do much with the suspension just because I got by the time I got off work, I had some stuff I had to take care of. Um, therefore, I didn't have a lot of time to get to the suspension. Tomorrow, I'm going to try to do the axle, the rear axle, as long as it does not rain. Um, it's supposed to be raining the rest of this week. So that's going to really uh, screw up my plans if that's going to be the case. Hopefully, it, it can hold out just one more day because they're not the best at forecasting weather out here. On another note, once again, thank you guys for watching the video, checking out my content. Um, I know these last, like this one and then two videos back, I know these videos, the editing has been pretty basic. I really haven't, all I've done is shoot, record, upload, just so I can get it out to you guys. And so that way I can get it out to you guys in a, manly, in a good time and that uh, I don't really have time right now to be able to edit the videos. Um, it is not gonna be like this forever. Once I get the truck situated, I'll put back together um, that and other things I'm doing, I'll be able to go back to good old editing like I used to do. Um, so I do apologize if you guys feel like the video quality has been a little lesser in these last two videos. Uh, I've just been trying to get the content out there to you guys and that way you guys can get the message, see what's going on, comment, like, all that fun stuff, okay? But when nonetheless, I got some parts that I've been sitting on for a minute. I should have showed y'all a while ago, but I didn't. So I want to show you guys now. That way you guys got something to look forward to just like I do. And on top of that, we got some more stuff on the way. And oh, I got another. I got more parts here. I just remembered. I was going to show you guys two. Now I got like uh, four, five. I got five. I got five things I got. I'm going to show y'all, okay? So I think you guys are going to like all this stuff that uh, you guys are going to see in a minute. I think it's going to be an awesome addition to the truck. And we're going to go from there, okay? So hang tight. All right, you guys, coming in at unboxing number one. All right, headlights. I ordered some headlights a few weeks ago. They finally came in. Um, I think they look amazing. I, this is the first time I actually opened it. It kind of, these are going to be uh, clear lens, um, LED projector lights. This right here where my thumb's at, that's your high and the outboard. I'm pretty, yeah, this is your high and the one on the inside is your low. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I might be mistaken. I don't know. Anyways, this thing looks freaking amazing. Tell me what y'all think. Um, the goal is not to install it clear lens like this. Okay, I'm going to try to see if I can get a shop somewhere out here that does tint and stuff. See if they can put a super light, just very minimal uh, tint on it. Just so it can look somewhat smoked. I know they sell the cans where you can smoke, a, smoke your lenses and stuff yourself. Um, I'm just not really looking, I'm just not really up for that. I feel like it's not going to be as good of a quality as if you get it wrapped. So that's what I want to do. But I ordered these off eBay. Um, these are not no cheap. These are not the little cheap everyday uh, eBay, you know, harnesses and stuff. You guys know what I'm talking about. Like this is actual, you know, <laughs> let's just say it's good quality stuff backed with warranties and stuff. So um, I like it. It also came with, now don't knock me for this, but it came with HIDs. Um, 6,000 K I know I know I know uh, we moved on from the HIDs into LEDs now that's what it's all about now but because it came with it and it's included I'm going to use it um, if it's not bright enough or if it's not getting the job done then that's when I will move on from there okay so this is unboxing number one number two is gonna be this guy okay and I'm only gonna show you one and remember I'm wearing gloves because I don't want to get this stuff dirty da -da -da -da. Now this is the first, this just came in today, and this is the first time I have opened this up, and oh my goodness, this looks so good. Look at the foam pad and the plugins and stuff. I and I, I can wire it all up, all right? Tow mirrors, more specific, let's say, let me, I'm trying to hold this thing, this thing's kind of big, I'm trying to hold it. More specific, fourth gen tow mirrors, all right, with the clear lens, I'm fine with that. It does not have, oh, it has a puddle light, no way. He didn't. They didn't tell me it had a puddle light. So that light on the bottom. If you guys, you guys with fourth gen trucks, um, you guys have the puddle light. So when you either you open the door or I think yeah, when you open the door or unlock it, it like lights up the ground. I did not know these came with it, but they do, and I'm extremely excited for that. Now that really just made my day. Um, it comes with the, it comes with the wiring harness, the nuts, uh, super simple stuff. So. We got some awesome, awesome installs coming up soon. I'm, I'm not going to mess with, uh, I'm going to put this in here because I want to wrap it back up because I don't want it to get messed up. Also, for the tow mirrors, color match, okay? I'm doing color matching. Um, I got I'm, And I'm not doing the cheap little, uh, what's it called? I forgot the spray you peel off. I can't think of it right now. 
uh, Plasti Dip. I'm not doing a cheap Plasti Dip. I'm uh, going to drop them off to a paint and body shop. They're going to paint it pretty much so it matches the truck. It matches the truck and the finish is smooth like the truck. It's gonna, they're going to use pretty much like a filling primer to get this bumpy, that bumpy feeling off of it. Uh, they're going to fill that in. It's going to look amazing. I cannot wait for those to get done. Okay, number three. I'm trying to keep this video nice and short for you guys. This is a small package, but it means a lot, especially for the tires, okay? Number three is going to be a ceramic coating. Now, 19 bucks. I paid for this online, eBay. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Amazon. Reviews were excellent. It does not come with instructions, but a lot of company. Oh, actually. Oh, yeah. Never mind. It has a little. Yep, I lied. Okay. Ceramic coating, okay? So, what this is, is this is going to be for the rims. I'm going to ceramic coat the rims um, before I put them on because I want them to be protected so that way when the summer comes, the rain, the winter comes, if it snows and stuff. I tell you guys, last. This was my first year in snow, like somewhat snow, and it messed that truck up. When I say messed up, I'm talking bolts, nuts, like seized up and like Pittman arm, perfect example, you know. So it messed some stuff up. So I want a ceramic coat. These rims, I really like them. Um, I want them to last me. And a ceramic coat is what I think is going to help it. And these are satin black, okay. So they don't shine. Now the thing is, is I wanted a satin black because it does not show scratches, swirl marks like a gloss black rim does. But guess what? If I do a ceramic coating on top of these brand new rims that have yet to get any type of dirt or contaminants in it, a ceramic coating is going to put that that gloss look on it. Because I like the way the gloss looks. I just don't like the fact how I put swirl marks, scratches, and stuff like that into the rim. I don't like it. It's like having a black car except your rims are black. So by having a flat or satin rim, you can get it to look just like a gloss rim with some ceramic coating. 18 bucks, okay? Uh, chemical guys... Adams polishes they all want 60 80 bucks and I'm, I'm like what the hell are you kidding me no absolutely not so I, I got that now all right here we go coming in at number four and this could have probably been number one but it is what it is okay I think you guys are gonna really 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 enjoy this one okay I probably can take my gloves off now too uh, okay I'm gonna open this up while I'm so I'm not sure Oh, what is that? Does do my eyes spy thirty over injectors? Yes, they do. Okay, now, now, you guys don't freak out yet um, about the injectors because I still I gotta get them programmed. Um, so when I so if you guys that don't know, when you do six seven injectors on a six seven Cummins, okay, on these uh, injectors, right? And I know this camera's not going to focus just because that's the way it is. God dang it. Anyways, okay, there you go. You see that number right there? That number is your solenoid number for your injector. What happens is, is you have to tell the ECM on your truck, hey, this solenoid, that serial number solenoid is in this engine cylinder. And you do it for all six of your injectors. Um, and what apparently it does, and I did research, is if you don't do it, you can have uh, small imbalances and I guess it's called like solenoid rate or some type of rate you can have a small imbalance and that can actually be detrimental uh, it might cause rough idling um, in the long run I've heard of people having perfectly fine running trucks and all of a sudden they've melted and this was a Duramax I read on it melted uh, through a piston because it oversprayed and uh, fuel fuel was hot spraying hot and it oversprayed melted through a piston um, definitely important stuff okay so these are in I'm gonna pause real quick put that back in the wrapper because I don't want that to get messed up I probably should put some oil on it to pre uh, press it because these are not getting installed within the next couple weeks I can tell you right now um, just because I have so much stuff going on with the truck right now we need to get her situated okay so let me put this back in and I'm gonna show you the last one I promise alright you guys last one coming in is going to be smoked cab lights so we're putting some cab lights on old girl okay um, I got these off of Amazon. They were like 25 bucks. Um, had decent reviews. I went with the black smoked head LEDs. Okay, so they're, it should be nice and bright. Uh, it has a foam pad. I have the wiring harness for it also. Okay, so as you can see, we have a lot of stuff going on. So what that means for you guys, subscribe, keep watching the videos, stay tuned. Um, it's not going to be... I'm trying to make it to where my next couple videos aren't going to be me 
updating you on the lift kit. Um, if it gets to the point, I will just do, finish the entire thing and then get back with you guys once I'm done with it. I don't want to keep making these parts of lift kit uh, progresses and stuff just because it's starting to get a little old. This was more of an unboxing video, but you guys, you guys should understand where I'm coming from. Um, I'm not trying to put you guys to sleep when I record. So hopefully, I hope you guys enjoy that uh, unboxing for sure because I know I did it just now, especially these. Those right there, they, uh, all of it, everything. <laughs> so absolutely. So you guys, uh, that's it. I'm not going to show you. I was going to show you guys the suspension, but in all honesty, if you watched yesterday's video where you saw the brackets installed for control arms, um, that's honestly what I did for this side. Yeah, I, had to, I had to make two trips to the hardware store. I ended up having to open up the holes and go with half inch bolts instead of the supplied 7 16 bolts because uh, the drill drilling the holes through the frame I couldn't get through it so I ended up using that uh, 12 inch uh, 12 inch long half inch drill bit so I went from the outside all the way through that way I was able to get on both sides of the axle so I ended up having to go get half inch bolts from Lowe's had to make two trips um, whatever so that's done now so really when it comes to the lift and tomorrow should be a really good progressing day because the shock, the shock uh, insulators should be here tomorrow. So what that means is I can finish up the front end minus pitman arm, gearbox, and uh, drag link arm. I have the drag link arm, not a pitman arm, or I don't have the gearbox yet, the steering box. So meaning the truck can sit, it will be sitting up. It just won't, be, the linkage won't be connected. Um, I'm looking forward to that so much. And then we'll roll to the back and then go from there. And then after that, man, she'll be driving again. I haven't cranked her up in... Um, probably since like Saturday. Whenever I started this, I think it was Saturday or Friday. Friday. I haven't cranked up, cranked up since Friday. So, thank you guys so much again for this video. Uh, the bugs keep flying around me. That's why I keep like scratching myself and twitching and stuff. Uh, thank you guys for watching the video. Thank you guys for the new subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, until next time, really. Oh, well, first of all, tell me guys what you think about the unboxing and stuff. The headlights, the injectors, uh, tow mirrors, ceramic coating, cab lights. Let me know what you think about all this stuff. Uh, definitely, you don't want to be missing out on this. So definitely spread the word. Tell your buddies. Uh, keep watching. Thank you guys so much for watching these videos. If you could do me a favor and give me a thumbs up because it really helps out with the channel a lot. Uh, I can tell it's been helping because the, the community for the channel has been growing up and up. Also, don't forget to check out my Instagram at everything underscore diesel because up there, I, a lot of times, I kind of slacked the last couple days because of the lift, but a lot of times I will take pictures, put them on Instagram before I even put a video out on face on, uh, Insta on, <laughs> on YouTube. So... With that all being said and done, um, I'm going to clean up. I have a huge mess outside. i got to clean up all my tools, bring it in. Uh, you guys have a good night. Take care. Be safe. And until next time, peace out.